Hey, YouTubers. Okay, I have something I would like to show here. Okay, what I have here is a uh, just a this is just a simple 555 timer pulser. Okay, and I'm pulsing power from this battery uh, into this coil, and then I'm I'm running a uh, I'm taking the collapsing field from that coil and uh, running this small motor. But before I do that. I want to sh show you this motor running straight from the battery, okay? So I got it going through the meter, okay, uh, comes out right here, um, and I have a little resistor to limit the current, and it goes through the motor, back to the battery, okay? So I'm running the motor straight off the battery, okay, and so I'm going to hook that up right now and I want you to see that this it's running off 122 milliamps of current and it's not even hardly spinning this so I'm gonna get it to try to get it to spin there it goes it's like barely spinning at 123 milliamps of current and I don't know if you can hear it. I'll try to get you to hear it. Okay, and it's it's barely. See, it's just it's barely spinning. But it is spinning. Okay, and you can hear it on the table. Here, listen. I don't know if you can hear that or not. But it's running at that speed. You can you can hear roughly how much power, and 122 milliamps of current, at like about a 12 volt battery. And I have a, uh, I believe this is a 100 ohm resistor. Uh, pretty sure that's 100 ohms. Okay, so so now you have an idea. of the, how much power this motor can run with from a 12 volt battery at 122 milliamps of current through I believe this is a 100 ohm resistor okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the motor off and I'm going to uh, hook this back up on the coil so I can pulse the coil uh, take the uh, resistor off here okay we don't need that anymore uh, let's see then we want to hook our pulser up to run off uh, let's see here so now what I'm doing I'm going to put the motor on the collapsing field from the coil so I hook this up let me get it on there such tiny little connections here okay now that's ready to go um, let's make sure everything's hooked on here now, now we're going to run, let's see, so now we got 111, and you can hear the motor, okay, but if I spin it up, give it a little spin here, you can hear how much more power, or current, really, I'm amplifying the current end of this and it's going pretty good but look at the current now it's only 77 78 milliamps of current coming out of the battery so I have the uh, meter basically just coming straight measuring the current coming straight out of the battery like this and uh, it's measuring 
uh, going through the switch and then through the coil uh, back like this back to the battery and then it collapses and I'm running it through the motor and it collapses uh, the positive of the collapsing fields rectified right here where the negative flips the positive put a diode on it and so it's running off of the collapsing electromagnetic field um, coming from this coil right here um, I can put a magnet on it I guess that's a thought I'd be able to hear it better, but I guess the motor is loud enough to hear everything coming from the coil. So this is just coming off the collapsing field, if you can hear that, and it's going pretty good. So, and so as before, the motor could barely turn off 123 milliamps of current. Now, it's down to 78 milliamps of current and running the motor much more powerfully. Um, so, what this is doing is I'm amplifying current and I'm, I'm actually getting more work for a less amount of current as before um, okay so to show you that um, I don't have my calculator on right now but see look at this I can take that off and it only draws like about six milliamps of current so uh, if I were to take a meter and just shunt it directly across uh, the meter, you know, with no resistance at all. Okay, the collapsing field from the coil. Okay, and I now you see it's about 120 milliamps of current there, and about 264 milliamps of current there. So I've I've more than doubled the current, the current only, not the voltage, but just the current. Now, the collapsing field, when it first comes off the coil, it is a high voltage. Take a sip of my coffee here. It does come off at a high voltage spike, which is a high voltage with a somewhat of a smaller current almost no current basically but when it hits a load like this meter or uh, this motor or uh, a resistor any type of resistive load then that high voltage is going to drop really low it's going to be a low voltage but the current is going to go way up high and you can amplify current like that so, this is basically all I wanted to show for right now was uh, how you can run a small little motor or any type of load. You could probably run a light bulb for a much, much smaller amount of current. Um, and I basically do more work on the load than what you normally would do from the battery. So, uh... I just wanted to show that, and uh, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, uh, and uh, please share, and um, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.